Hey dad, how are you doing? Hey sweetie. I'm doing fine thanks. And you? I too, am doing well thanks. I was just asking around town to see if anybody's seen Britney lately. Why, what's happened to her? She had a bit of an upset yesterday and ran away this morning before any of Serena or Tony were even awake. They woke up to find a note explaining the situation. Oh no. The poor thing. I think I best join your investigation into this. Please do, Dad. I need all the help I can get. No, we haven't seen her yet, but we are all looking for her. If you get any leads please call either me or my dad on our mobiles. It would be greatly appreciated. Will do, Corona. Keep up the good work. I honestly don't think she did this of own accord. She's not stupid. I think someone might be behind her disappearance. This is interesting, young Hortons. Who do you suspect might be behind Britney's disappearance? Look no further than my ex-boyfriend and former partner in crime, Luke Harold Stenner. He will have everything to do with this. I'm certain of it. You know, Hortons. I think you might be on to something. I'll call Corona and let her know we have a lead and our prime suspect. Thank you. You're welcome. Maybe I can help you some more. And so, we're still looking for a suspect in this case. We do suspect foul play is playing a huge role in this. As a matter of fact, we do have our prime suspect. It's Luxner. We are hunting him down as well as looking at Brittany Allen. We have a photocopy of the letter, and the handwriting doesn't match up with hers. That's interesting. What tipped you off? The I's are looped and the E's twisted into the A's, E's and O's. The U's are basically just loop the loops all over. That's not how she writes. No, it isn't. But it is how that Luke Stenner writes his letters. We have our guy. I thought so. Now we need to raid that hideout to see if she's being held there against her will. You can't keep me here like this. It's kidnapping, and that's against the law. You're going to be arrested. They're never going to find me. You ain't getting away unless your parents are willing to pay the ransom of 125 million and that's final. I keep telling you, there's no chance of that happening. And the police know where this hideout is. You don't stand a chance of heading out without getting caught. Brittany, thank goodness no further harm has been done to you. Are you alright? I wasn't until you all turned up. Who led you in this direction? Hortons did, sweetie. She's outside with the police, and everyone else who's been helping us investigate your disappearance. We examined all the evidence that pointed us to Luke. Let's get you out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Me too. And I'm embarrassed. I'm in my 90s for goodness sake. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And have us a magical time. How very strange. Nothing to see. Anywhere at all. That, my daft friend, would be because you're on stage. If you're here to watch a performance, shouldn't you be in the audience? An excellent point you got there, Amanda. Come on, let's get out of here. Are you going to be okay? Yes, I'm going to be fine. Thanks again, Amanda. If you're sure, I'll leave you to it. I do like Amanda, she's a good friend. Time to cross the road now. Hi there, Corona. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine, thanks, Alex. Thanks for asking. Are you sure? You're behaving in a very odd way. 
Perhaps you need to go home and rest. I don't need to do that. Thanks for your concern. Corona, that was a really dangerous thing to do. You could have been killed. Are you sure you don't need to see a doctor? Very sure thanks, Officer Dewberry. I'm sorry for putting myself in danger. I'm sorry, Corona but I'm afraid I have to arrest you for endangering your life. I think you'll be safe in jail. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks God. I think I need to get out there for some exercise and fresh air. I've been sitting here all morning. Hey sweetie, are you off out? Yes dad. I'm off out for some exercise and fresh air. Okay, sweetie. Be careful. And call me if you run into any trouble. I will, Dad. I love you. I love you too, my sweet angel. Too much to let anything horrible happen to you. It certainly is nice out here. So peaceful and tranquil. Time to go through the park. Hi, Trisha. How are you doing? I'm really well thank you, Corona. How are you? I too, am really well thanks. Glad to hear it, sweetie. Say, I don't suppose you've had a checkup in a while? Nope, I don't believe so. Why do you ask? I'd like to see you for an appointment this coming Friday afternoon at 1.15. Is that convenient for you? Yes, that's convenient. I'll let my dad know we've set up an appointment. Asha girl, your dad needs to know about it, as does your school nurse. I'll call the office and let her know tomorrow. That was pleasant. On to the next place now. Sorry to bother you, Corona but I wonder if you have a moment. Of course Justin. What can I do for you? I think it's time to make a move now, as dusk is due to fall. Hi there, sweetie. Are you on your way home now? Yes, Dad. I was just about to make a move on it. Allow me to escort you home. As I have a big surprise for you when we get in. Okay, sweetie. Are you ready for your surprise? You bet I am. I can't wait to see it. Okay then, wait here and I'll go and get it. I wonder what the surprise is. Dad never ceases to amaze with his surprises. Surprise. Oh my goodness. Mom? Is that you? Of course it is, sweetheart. Come to mommy. It's lovely to see you again. It's amazing to see you again too, Mom. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. I agree with you fully there, my darling child.